everybody. We are now here at the scare zone. I mean, uh, yeah, the thing here. And now we're gonna get our last churro of the evening. We have a churro Sunday. Today we're having the s'mores churro. So, yeah. So we're gonna get the s'mores churro. Hopefully this is any good. But there's good. no cell coverage. I will see you guys in a little bit. I think part of Olivia is just so... Seems like this bad boy. The s'more churro. I'll oh, be the most interesting one of all the churros that we're offering. Other than the uh, strawberry one. Did you get that out? not the one which I never had a chance to try. So, while I'm walking here, why don't we get this thing back to the truck, shall we? Please bear me guys, we can go to another bite here. Okay, that's really good. And may the fourth be with you. And may the fourth be with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Grizzly. It's been so long since I've been on you. Too bad the line is long and I can't get on it. Churl Sunday, okay. 8 and a half out of 10. Churl rating, 8 out of 10. Everywhere. Alright, let me turn this one up. I'll send this one up. Alright, everybody. I'm really need my churl over here. And oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm really enjoying the Halloween food option here in, El here in Disney this year. Now, don't forget, I think. I think uh, should I come tomorrow? We may end up in the uh, girl in the uh, pit here at uh, Goofy Sky School. Because there's one I actually like. I want to try. I want to try.
Hall Disney location closed. But to those fans in Hagen Doss, do not fret. Because Hagen Doss is moving right over there where that car is. What? Car? Oh, it's a promotion from Honda. Okay, now it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, and then Halloween Time Color Steel, that makes it even more awesome. We'll probably see more of that within the next few days, so make sure to stick around. And yes, guys, I will. I am planning to do a Halloween ride-through of Haunted Mansion Holiday. If I'm going to do it on that day, Halloween day, I don't know. But we're going to have to wait and see. All right. Of course, probably the big news for the Disney Room this week that is not Marvel-related. And that is the world of Disney. The world of Disney did reopen and we'll be doing an in-depth review of the new store. Either Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. And judging from the sign, the appearance looks boring. I mean, it's not just the Odyssey got it. Yeah, the one, the one at Disney Springs got it too. And I want to get back over there because I she didn't even work because I got the one in the business. There we go. Right, here we go. So probably the biggest change besides the San Juan of Disney announcement was oh, there's another. Oh, hello, hit my two bus cam. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting very, very close towards uh, our destination. We soon I'll be right back, back to where I was saying before I decided to look up the Dodgers score. So far, it's been pretty good for the Dodgers. Sorry, Boston. If I play down, I'll be the show. I'll definitely choose you next time. It's even more boring than the Okay, can you please shut up already? Now, while we're the big changes here, is obviously the Naples right here. Now they added a bar. Yes, they added a bar and outdoor seating. Now, the pizza is in like crap, totally okay. And it's also pretty expensive, so choose your pizza wisely. There's a bit of Cruella de Vil is out here, ladies and gentlemen. Cruella de Vil is out here, ladies and gentlemen. And Napolini is still not open. But, oh, here we go. The main reason why I decided to show you guys out here. Salted Straw is finally open. And we will be we will review this place before the year is out. So make sure to stick around. Before the year is out, we will try this place. And wow, they actually expanded the Hog and Dog location. And once again, Retro Festival is still not open. Still not open. And uh, the two new restaurants that was to be to be the replacement for ESPN Zone and Rainforest Cafe. Yes are still not open yet. I don't know what's the hold up, but uh, gotta know what we gotta do. And speaking of the hotel, oh boy. I know a lot of you people wanted me to talk about this and Ballast Point is gonna be taking this spot and I'm thinking Black Food Brewery is taking that spot? Boy, that hotel has caused and uh, uh oh, welcome to Jurassic Fork, I mean Jurassic World. <laughs> oh, <I love> <laughs> All right, pray for us. Okay, as you can tell, the AFC theaters, ESPN zone. Oh, it's Black Tap. There we go. Crap burgers and shakes. Ooh, then we gotta try that one someday. This caused a lot of controversy. This hotel has caused a lot of serious controversy because when they closed the uh, ESPN zone AMC and. Uh, Rainforest Cafe earlier this year, 
This caused a lot of controversy. When is it going to start? When is it going to start? Now, but thankfully, Disney came to their senses, and as of this, as of a few weeks ago, it has been canceled. Now, so now the big question now will be is the big question is, and a roll of sandwiches included too. And recently, as of a few weeks ago. The Earl of Sandwich store downtown Disney has since reopened. And I'm expecting the Starbucks here and see will reopen too. So the big question is what's going to be taking the places of those buildings? What are we known as Rainforest Cafe or or Rainforest Cafe or ESPN Zone? My guess is that either the Buffalo Wild Wings takes the space of the ESPN Zone and Rainforest Cafe. I don't know what's going to happen, but my guess is the feeling is that Langley's, who owns the Rainforest Cafe brand, will try and figure out a way to reopen it. As for AMC, I, they, they can tear that down for all I care. Alright guys, so that's it for today's show. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. And uh, I think that's it. Good night everybody. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow or... Possibly on Saturday. Good night, everybody.